Hello, and welcome to another episode of Drunk Slash Buzzed Animal Drawing. I'm your host slash artist slash sufferer, Kareen. Today we're going to be drawing a brown hyena, which my friend has suggested. I don't know if I'm going to draw it cartoony or realistic or what, but we'll see how it goes. No alcohol in me at the moment, so that has to change. So I'll be back when I'm a little more inebriated and we can get get this started. We are properly inebriated. And yeah, we've got everything set up. Let's Photoshop. Today, we're in between <laughs> buzz and drunk. I can already feel my friends judging me. It's okay. What is life but a series of judgment? So I don't think John will be making an appearance today because he is watching The Office with a friend. So it's just you and me. So the prompt is a brown hyena. I was tempted to just draw the guy from Agretzico. I was thinking about that. Also, I'm really hoping you like can't hear pick up from John in the other room. I closed the door. But let's see. Also, I shaved half my eyebrows off and I drew in a normal eyebrow on the side, but I split the eyebrow on this side. Don't know if you can tell, especially since I'm really small, but that's how it is. The drink of choice today is soju, which gets me to a good time without wrecking me. Wow, these things are... Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to find a reference. I'm not finding anything I like. However, I will say this would be a really good episode to do like a cartoon exaggerated version. Because these guys look like they're wearing very fuzzy coats. So we might, you know, we might do that. Also, I know a couple of brown hyena facts, but the brown hyena facts I know are disturbing. So I just want to make sure that they're accurate before I say them. You know what? I'm just going to say what I've read. And if someone knows more than I do, then tell me in the comments. <laughs> That's what we're going to... That's what we're going to go with. You know what? I I really like this photo. Also known as the Strand Wolf. She is giving me face. She's giving me anything. Okay, I'm going to copy this photo so you can see what the hell I'm talking about. So you've noticed I'm sitting somewhere else. I'm sitting in the corner of our living room. My desk is over there. I'm not sitting there because we have neighbors and my desk is right by the wall and I don't want to disturb them because I might get loud. This is a reference I'm using. I think she looks gorgeous. Today we're gonna do we're gonna do some cartooning. I'm not gonna draw this. You know I might draw this realistically but I'm gonna try not to draw this realistically because I don't like to draw realistically but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to start with the questions because I only got one question. And the one question I got was, um, can you draw dinosaurs too? And the answer is yes, and I have. In fact, you can check out my feathered T-Rex video because that was a dinosaur. So yes, I can draw dinosaurs too because they are animals. When I'm at the zoo, we're going to visit our fun friend, the basic shapes. Let's say you're at Los Angeles Zoo, the Bronx Zoo, San Diego Zoo. I don't know which of these zoos actually have hyenas or not. Um, let's say you're at a zoo with hyenas or you're on like some safari or something. Let's say you're at that and you're an artist or you're trying to be an artist. Excuse me. And you're trying to draw these animals. They keep moving all over the place because that's what animals do. What is an artist to do? Here's the answer. And you already know it. It's called basic shapes. Yes. So that's what we're going to do. So this head is like this. There's a middle line. This, this. I'm okay. At this point, you already know what it is. I'm just drawing the basic shapes. I'm not going to go over it. I'm just going to draw it. 
of these ears, like funky triangles. And then we've got this frill. We've got this wind here, and we've got this gorgeous coat. That's that's usually my generic sketch. Let's put you here. Let's make this a little more. Yeah, this is a lot. This is a lot, but it's okay. That basically already looks like it and we were able to get there because we had a basic sketch I guess we are I don't know we'll see what we do I wanted to anthropomorphize it but I think that's going to invite some stuff that I don't want so we're just going to work off this reference um, yeah so I think this is fine now we're going to we want to make this a little smaller and we're going to refine it The cool part about cartooning, which I don't even know if I'm doing right or not, is you can make it look however you want. Honestly, you can make art look however you want. But I'm just going to have some fun with this his funky ears. They look like bat ears. And then we've got this fun frill, which looks like she's wearing this big fur coat. Generally, I would say do the skeleton. That still applies. Like, there's like a hump here. But I'm just drawing what I see at this point because that's what I want to do. So, we're in like the midst of coronavirus and all that. How are you guys doing? Doing okay? I'm in New York, specifically Long Island. Which has been fun. A lot of people are like, oh my god, you're in New York. I guess I must be crazy. And I'm like, you have to understand, I'm not technically in New York. I'm in Long Island. So it's crazy, but not as crazy as it could be. Um, so. And like, I already... Oh, you see this? This is the foot right here. Um, I'm going to redo. Un undo that. So you know what I'm doing. But... It's like, oh, we've got some, there we go. It's like, oh, actually that's in front of it. Oops, right there, there we go. It's crazy, but not as crazy. Like, okay, um, it's bad. But we've been okay. Let's put it that way. You know, I really like this. Thanks, Karen. This has a lot of personality. I'm into it. She looks like she's wearing a big drapey fur coat. It's working for me. I really like this facial expression. I think we're good. I, You know, this is going to be a good one. I'm excited for this. This might be the fastest episode we've ever done. Let's be ambitious and try to go for inking right now. You know, I don't know how to explain what I'm doing. It's it's just we broke it down to basic shapes, we simplified stuff, and we're, we're working off of what works, and we're making it a fun drawing. So, I'm sorry if this is not as informative as some of the other ones, but
we're just going for it. These triangle shapes come from what I'm seeing in the hyena. But we are going cartoony, so it's okay. Uh... We're looking at our reference, you know, and we're just, you know what, we're just drawing, I don't even remember what brush I'm using, we're just going at it. Oh, some fun hyena facts, um, which maybe you won't think are fun after hearing them. So, backstory. I had a book called Call of the Kalahari. It was about these zoologist people who went to Africa in like the 80s or the 90s or whatever um, to, um, to study animals. And as an animal enthusiast, I was like, this book is right up my alley. And it was sitting in my bookshelf for a while. It was like my dad's book or whatever, and he just gave it to me in my bookshelf. So I was like, all right. Bet I'll read this. I'll I'll read this book. Why not? So I read it and like it was fine. I haven't revisited it in like years. Um so maybe my memory is blurred. But one of the species they studied besides lions, because they definitely studied the lions, was brown hyenas, which is what we're drawing right now. And something that really stuck with me at the ripe age of 15 and has not left me at this age of 27. God, I'm old. <laughs> oh, um, is that hyena female? Okay, I'm pretty sure I remembered reading that brown hyenas are matriarchal. And I also remember reading, if you know more about brown hyenas in the comments, Correct me if I'm wrong. This is just what I'm remembering, so I may be wrong. I'm willing to admit that. But what I remember reading is that the female hyena will, when giving birth, chew open her vagina to get the baby out. Because for some reason, the way these things were designed did not have an opening so she had to like chew it open or the baby would either not come out or would just rip through and in that vein the female hyena's clitoris um is also like so enlarged it's like a little penis which i'm pretty sure is true if you don't think it's true look it up and let me know. Um, yeah, but that's what I remembered reading and it left quite an impact. And I, I feel like what I read was true. So either confirm or deny whether that was true or not. So, but I remember they were making the case for that hyena as like, actually these guys are really cool and they're like social and everything, like stop hating on them. You got a bad rep, but yeah. So we're adding these stripes because they have them, obviously. Look at this fashion icon, honestly. Okay, now we're doing the leg. The thing to remember about these quadrupeds is that everything is wonky. Um, and that they're actually walking on the finger pads like this. Like this is how they're walking. Um, they're just walking around like this, um, except it's, it's like, like this, except like, like different. I don't know. Just like, imagine crawling, but instead of crawling flat handed, you're crawling like on your fingertips. That's how animals, that's how animals are. So, yeah. Sorry if that's scarring, but that's the way it is. So, um... I think that's 
fine, actually. So we're coloring in the um, back hind leg suggestion as black to show that it's behind it. Yes, you know what? I really like this. There is some personality here. I think it looks like a hyena. It, whatever. I think so. Um, yeah, I'm into this. This this is also going by really fast because I'm not trying to make this realistic. I feel like I should tell you that my friends are making a um, fanfic of Tom Nook and Red. Yeah, that's a thing that's happening. Um, yeah. And I was drawing fan art of it, and I'm not ashamed. But we also made, um, what do you call it? Gajinka. Or I, sh I shouldn't say we. My, a friend of mine designed human character designs for them, so it's not totally weird. But, yeah. We should do some stripes on these guys, too. This, this might be the fastest one that I've ever done. That's, that's the line art. That's the line. Mm, okay, this is the line art. We're good. How did this happen? Is it because I've been drawing this week? We don't know. I'm going to touch up the line art a little bit. I'm going to add some line weight to differentiate this. This is, I don't know how to explain it. I just think it's cool. John, when you're done with the bathroom, you want to look at my hyena? I already drew the line art. Cool. I'm going to try to show, because you can see there's like some weird color stuff going on. I'm going to try to show that in, in this. That way there's less for me to color. I'm going to give some eyeliner. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. That has so much character and I'm in love with it. I don't know if it's easily identifiable as like a brown hyena, but there's a lot of character and it's going to make you want to know what it is. So <laughs> we'll see if that actually gets the job done or not. But I'm into it. That's the point. What's up? You want to look at it? Look at her. What do you think? Does it immediately look like a hyena to me? I know. But that's just because the reference also looks like that. Like in terms of reference, you did well. Thank you. I, I didn't ask what hyenas look like. This is just a, this is a brown hyena. They look completely different from a spotted hyena, which might be what you are used to seeing. Because look, they look like they're wearing shaggy coats. They do. And the stripes on their legs are really off-putting. Oh, I love the stripes on their legs. They are fashion queens. Look at this. If I, if you saw this, you'd be like, what is this? Some weird starved wolf? But spotted hyenas are these guys. You should run a square week for your next Draw kind of a drawing. It's not even an animal. If you request it, I'll draw it, but it's not an animal. This is what you're yeah, used that's to seeing. Awesome. Yeah, the spotted hyena. Brown hyena is different. I don't think the spotted hyena chews its vagina open. Oh, so it's, it's the, the female brown hyena that does that? Yeah. I don't know if the, if the spotted hyena does that or not. They, yeah, they're wearing these giant fur coats, and I went more cartoony with it, which I think is working. And I'm already done with the line art, so I can just start coloring, even though I hate coloring. But, yeah. Okay. We're going to do the tried and trusted go for it. I'm going off of um what my <laughs> Cintiq monitor is showing me, which is not always accurate. TBH. So, oh, by the way, so today I went for a walk with my roommate and we took a different route than usual. And on our route, 
we saw a box of toys that this house that was for sale was giving away. And my roommate John was digging through the toys, looking for something, I guess, that he'd want. And at first, the thing that caught our eye was minions. I'm not a fan of minions. I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan. And he was looking through them. I made the mistake of saying, John, there are Furbies. And he went, where? And I was like, in the plastic bag that you just tossed. And he went, oh, I'm taking this. And he took the Furbies. And now we have four cursed Furbies. Not even the old ones, the new ones. With like the glass eyes. And these like weird floppy ears. And we have them. Four of them in our apartment. The two nicest looking ones are on our bookshelf um, on either side of the fan that I have. But yeah, so now we have those. Um, and that's just, that's just what my life is right now. So yeah, that happened today. So John was like, you should draw a Furby next time. And I'm like, please don't make me. But you know what? It might come down to it. So... Yeah. At this point, we are literally guessing. I don't have anything to say. This is the least educational version of this video we've done. I'm literally just drawing these animals drunk. So, <laughs> hope you enjoy. I'm having fun. Um. I'm just, I'm just going for it, dude. Coronavirus, it's happening. I was editing my old video and I was like, wow, this is really dated and it's only like a month old. So, TGIF though, right? Look at this fashion icon. Look at her. She's she looks great. Okay. So that's kind of like my base colors. I'm going to start sampling shit. I'm going to start sampling and I'm going, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fuck with the opacity. Let's make this, yeah, let's do this. Mm. I want to show like a blended coat. Because we are what? I don't know what we are, actually. So how have you guys been doing? You know, there's a lot going on. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, in case you're wondering how I'm doing, I'm doing okay. Um, it's, you know, coronavirus, as much as it sucks, it is saving me money. Um, which I guess is a plus. So I don't really like people protesting it to be over. Like, how do you protest a virus? You're just being selfish. Um, I feel like everyone but the White House has our best interests at heart. Or at least are trying. Well, I live in New York. I definitely feel like the guy in charge has our best interests. Um, even if I don't agree with everything he says about certain types of people. Um, really wish you would rethink that and have a little bit more empathy. If you read the news, you know what I'm talking about. But, yeah. Um, everyone has a reason for why they do things. You know, it's not all black and white. But...
Yeah, it's been crazy, which is the understatement of the century, but yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it, honestly. It's nuts. Although, you know, there's like, got some good friends and we've been playing Jackbox and stuff and trying to stay sane through all of this and all that. I'm very, very fortunate that I work where I do because the, the, the company was already remote to begin with. Um, so the transition was really not that difficult because I was already working from home. Um, so I am extremely fortunate and count myself really blessed to have found that job and been able to get that job when I did because oh boy you know so very 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 lucky sometimes the job does frustrate me but I'm very glad I have it than not have it I'd rather go through that than deal with everything else so yeah, definitely, definitely know how lucky I am in that regard. Um, yeah. So, just, you know, making it through, um, social distancing while still, uh, what do you call it, going outside every so often and all that good stuff so that we don't go crazy. We started running, which has been fun. Um, got back to my race time, which I'm really happy about because, oh, yikes. Cause I was not doing so great race time wise. I think this looks fine. Like I know, I know it's messy, but drunk me thinks this looks fine. So we're going to work on the background. This is literally going to be the shortest episode ever. Most of this background is... White. Can we make this bigger? Do we have an airbrush? Here we go. the reference. I don't know if I like this or not, but it's pretty much time. <laughs> um, yeah. There it is. I don't know what to say. Um, maybe we can blur this airbrush out a little more. But it looks, it looks pretty good. Putting some shadow here to show, like, oh, yeah, that's underneath it. Um, I'm fine with this. It's messy, but it gets the point across, you know. Let's, okay, let's see if we can smooth some stuff out. There we go. Let's see if we can. Move some stuff with the gradient. Let's 
I don't know. This is this one. This episode's going by a lot smoother than I'm used to. It's going by a lot quicker. This point. We're just using the airbrush tool right now to see if we can smooth stuff out. Which has, you know, varied degrees of success. Um, yeah, I think that looks a little clearer. We can erase this stuff. So, like, yeah, he's here, she's here. Yeah. She looks good. Um, she looks fashionable. I don't really like the background because it looks really dirty. Um, especially this one. There you go. We've like lightened that up. There's not a lot of contrast. I like want to make the background purple. <laughs> um, let's see if some purple can go in here. Okay. That's okay. I still don't really like it. Um, like the background looks really plain. It's like you might as well not have it. Let's Do we want to do it like this? I mean, now she looks more lively, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is this is it. Maybe that's it. Maybe we need a little more of this. Oh, oops, we got it on top. Here, this is what we wanted. Maybe we'll have a blue sky. That looks normal. <laughs> I've got this huge ash brush to like fake, fake some stuff. When you spend most of your time on the background. I know I don't even know. I don't know what looks good or not, but I know I like her. So we're good with her. Um maybe we can do like a white outline around her and that'll look cute. Maybe. I'm really not feeling this background. I think she's getting a little lost in it. This is what happens when you don't know when to stop. <laughs> when you chase the mistakes, which you should not do, but I'm doing it anyways.
Now she looks like a sticker. But you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with her looking like a sticker. Because at least she pops. Oh, and then we'll do we'll do a black outline around this white outline. Yeah, I like that. And we're gonna do that by just yeah, like this. That way I don't have to outline everything. I'm just coloring on the outside with a thick pen. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. I'm just having fun, enjoying my Friday, relaxing, because that's what we all need. And you know what? I like this. She looks like a sticker. She looks like I could peel her off and put her somewhere. And that's fine. So we're going to add a little bit right here. And I think we're going to call it a day. Let's sign it. That's a big signature. But you know what? I think that's it. I think we're done. I don't think we need to do any more to it. I think she looks gorgeous. I think she looks great. I think she looks beautiful. I don't like the background. But... And it's arguable whether she looks like a hyena, but she does look like the reference. So I think we're good. Thanks for joining me for this other drunk animal drawing video, even though it's a little um, faster, different than we're used to, a little more cartoony. But I like her like, mm, are you sure? Facial expression. I like that I got it done pretty quickly. Um, you know, this animal is kind of fun. I wouldn't mind drawing it again. Thank you to my friend Karen for suggesting this. Thank you to all of you guys for tuning in watching this. Um, please drink responsibly. I feel like I should say that. Um, please stay safe during this coronavirus pandemic that's going on. Um, stay sane. And, you know, if you end up drunk drawing an animal, show me. Let me know. Email me or something. I don't know. Um, I, I love to see it. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, if you have something you'd like to see me draw next time, let me know in the comments below, taking suggestions. If I don't get anything, I'm going to draw whatever I want to draw next time. So yeah, um, have a good night and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.